Hello and welcome back to another Rubicon Models unboxing video. This time we're taking a look at some of the, uh, the British vehicles as we take a look at the uh, A15 Crusader tank for the British. So as you can see on the front here we've got some of the, uh, the artwork for the, the tank itself and also some of the description as to what we get in here. Flipping that over we can see the three main variants. Now this actual kit allows you to create six variants of the A15 Crusader uh, which includes the Mark 1, Mark 2 and also the Mark 3. Now we also get some of the variants such as the, the Mark 1 CS, Mark 2 CS and also the uh, AA variant as well. So now that we've uh, looked at uh, the box let's open this up and take a look at the contents inside. So first of all we have the transfer sheet and on the sheet here we get various uh, British and also allied markings such as the star as well. We've also got some uh, Desert Rat uh, markings as well for the 8th Army. Now uh, next we have the uh, instruction booklet. Now this shows you how to assemble all the different variants. Uh, as you can see we've got the sprue listings on the front of the instruction sheet there and if I just flip this open you can see that all of the parts that you required um, are nicely uh, lettered and also numbered. So the first letter is which sprue they're on and the number is uh, exactly which component on that sprue it is. So on the back here we can see the uh, the different three variants, uh, sorry the different four variants. You've got the Mark 1, 2 and also the ICS and the 2CS as well. The Mark 3 and also the uh, the anti-aircraft variant at the bottom as well. Very nicely detailed diagrams should be uh, making life easier when assembling this. And then we also get the, uh, the three sprues themselves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open these up and zoom in and get a closer look at the components themselves. So the first sprue that we'll be looking at is sprue A, and this features the main chassis of the tank and also uh, the tracks as well. So you can see here, it's a uh, the main body is like a single section. It's got some nice detailing, including some uh, stowage there. We've also got these hinges you can just about make out, and also all the nice riveting detail across the body there as well. Now if you look at the tracks here, you can see the tracks are actually uh, attached, come pre-attached to the road wheels themselves, which makes life a lot easier when it comes to assemble these, as you don't have to fiddle around with different individual track sections. So now that we've looked at the uh, sprue A, let's move on to sprue B, which features uh, the second half of the chassis, the, the kind of the undercarriage, as well as a few different side skirts for the different variants that you can see at the top. Now we also have the Mark 1, Mark 2 turret, as you can see here. Um, all the individual rivets have been picked out, which is kind of iconic of, the, uh, of this particular tank as well. Now the next sprue, the final sprue for this, uh, features some more turrets, so we've got the uh, the Mark III variant of the turret and also the AA variant as well, and also some additional side skirts. We've got the AA cannon there as well, you can see, just the, the double barrels, and also some of the, the main cannons at the top there as well. Everything's very nicely detailed, uh, the plastic's quite nice and sturdy as well, um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to assemble this tank and show you the finished piece. So here we have the assembled Crusader. Now it took me roughly an hour to assemble and it was very easy to do so. The instructions were really clear. Um, as I already showed you in the instruction manual, all of the sprues were actually lettered and all of the components on those sprues were numbered. So you all you had to do is look in the instruction booklet, it told you which letter, which number, and you could look straight on that particular sprue. Now the actual uh, miniature assembled really nicely, um, it wasn't really any in, anything in the way of uh, having to kind of prise components together, making sure that everything fit together properly, it was all very very straightforward in that regard. Now the great thing about this particular kit is that you can assemble it in several different ways and you can actually use them all three. Now uh, the first version which you can see here is the Crusader Mark 1 or Mark 2, uh, that's got the Mark 1 Mark 2 turret on there. Uh, you can also assemble it to use the AA turret as well, uh, very nice kind of little turret there as well, it's got the, the fully movable um, rotation and also the, the main um, anti-aircraft gun moves up and down as well. Now the final turret that you can also assemble for this miniature is also the Mark III turret. Now the only real thing that you're missing, the only real component you're missing from this particular um, turret is the back stowage. Um, now you could probably create your own or replace it with some tarpaulins or other boxes for example. So now that we've looked at the Crusader assembled and um, we've looked at all the variants as well, let's zoom out and get an overall summary for this kit. So that concludes another Rubicon Models unboxing. I have to say, really liking the Crusader tank. Uh, very easy to assemble, very straightforward assembly guidelines. The quality of the actual finished miniature is fantastic. The detailing is really is superb. Um, what's great about this kit as well is the sheer amount of variations that you get in this particular kit itself. You can assemble six different variants from here, um, all ranging from Mark 1 to, all the way through to 3, and also the anti-aircraft version as well. 
Now this particular kit is marketed at £20, which is great considering the amount of variations you get. The Warlord equivalent is a Mark 1, Mark 2 version of the Crusader, and that's £21 and is a metal and a resin kit. So this is a lot more versatile and easy to work with. So what I'll do is I'll pop a link in the description below, which will take you directly to the Rubicon Models uh, website where you can find out exactly where you can pick one of these up for yourself. If you enjoyed this unboxing, do let me know in the comments below and I'll uh, be sure to keep up with my Rubicon unboxings. So until next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.